Hi there, this is Lou from Glowing Pigs International, and this is tutorial two on how to create a service that plays music in the background so that you can start music, then go on and get your email, or go on the web and surf, or do whatever you have to do, and the music will continue to keep playing. In part one, we created an activity that has a play button and the name of the song you're going to play and it looks like this and when you hit this button it turns into a pause button and when you hit the pause button it turns back into play and what we're going to do in this next tutorial here is create the service that's going to actually play the music so let's get on with it okay so the first thing you do when you create a service is you have to put that service information in the manifest file. So here we have the manifest and where you put it is within the application block and right below your activity which we worked on at the last tutorial we're putting in service we're saying enable true and we're giving the name of the service and I always like to put the package name you don't have to if the service is within the same application as the activity but I put it in in case I want to access the service from another application. So I put in the package name com.glowingpigs.tutorialrecord1.myplayservice myplayservice being the name of the service. Once we've got the manifest file done, now we have to create the service. Now, <coughs> I created the service here. Normally what you would do is just create another class. You do file, new, and then class and then you create a service uh, class but uh, I have that here now to save time and these are the list of things we're going to be doing to play the music in this service we're going to do some things in the on create to prepare the service and then we start the service and then we have to prepare the media player which what the media player does is find out what clip you're going to play, locate it, and get prepared to play it. Then you start the media player, which starts the music playing. And when you want to stop the media player, uh, you do that. And generally, that's at the end of the service. If somebody stops the service from the activity, then you want to stop the media player, and then you want to stop the service. So those are the things we're going to be doing. So let's get started. Um, the first thing we're dealing with is on create. So I'm just going to move these all down. So and in order to set up the service, we're going to set it up with a bunch of listeners. What listeners are, uh, since we're using the media player, the media player response to various events. So when we set up the class here, we say public class my play service implements and then these various listeners. These listeners uh, are associated with the media player and help the media player respond to various events. And I'll talk about them shortly. But first we want to bring in the various libraries uh, associated with these listeners. So on completion you just hover over each one of these where the red line is and it tells you what to import and you just click on that and import those now we also notice service has a red line under it there's a service library too so we import that now this still has a red line the reason why is because each of these listeners, there's a method associated with each of these listeners. And actually, Eclipse will plug in those methods for you. So you just say add unimplemented methods, and they're all added. Now, this particular method here, iBinder, is associated with the service, not the media player. This method, iBinder binds the service to the activity so that the activity then can access methods within the service. Because remember, the service is running in the background. And the only way the activity can access methods in the service is through binding. 
Right now we're not going to deal with binding. In another tutorial we will. So right now we're going to return null. And that's all we need to do there. So now we've got our server set up. And what we want to do at this point is put in the on, on create because we need to tell the class what to do when the service is created. So, and basically we're going to do a lot of things to set up the media player. So we say override and then <clears throat> we have a media player. We have to create this local variable media player so we'll put that up here and we'll say private media player which is the type and we call it with a lowercase m and then we're going to instantiate it new me media player So what we've done now is we we're, we're attaching each of the on complete on each of the listeners to this particular uh, service. So we say media player set on completion listener, and the on completion is what happens when the media player finishes playing the clip. On error says what's happening if there's an error. Prepared the media player needs to be prepared before it is played. Prepared meaning that the media player finds the clip that you're going to play and starts uh, pulling in the data to play that clip. And uh, on buffering update is if the clip needs to buffer at some point, this listener can send messages out about what's happening. On seek complete is for a, a seek bar, which we're going to add in a later tutorial. We're going to add a bar where you can move to various places within the audio clip. On info listeners for listening for information, if you need information that's being sent out by the listener. Now, media player reset, we always do that in order to make sure that the media player is not pointing to some particular data source. We want to reset it uh, so that it's clear. So we've taken care of that. And the next thing you need to do is you need to say what happens when the service starts. So that's the start command on start command so we'll plug that in and what that is doing is it number one it's in the activity in the prior tutorial we sent some information about what media clip to play using put extras and now we're going to get that within the service using get extras and we'll talk about that more uh, as we move forward but we what we do need now is we do need a variable to put it in which is going to be called sent audio link. So actually, I can just cut and paste that and save us a little time here. And it's a string because it's going to contain the variable 10.mp3, which is the variable we sent over from the activity. So we're saying, okay, sent audio link, and now we're saying the intent, which is associated with the service, gets that string. Now, then we say if the media play is not playing, we want to set up the data source. And the data source is this URL, and then the value 10.mp3, which is stored in the variable sent audio link. Then we want to prepare the media player. We do this with something called prepare async, which will prepare the media player as a separate thread so that it's not holding up resources. Prepare async is a very valuable uh, uh, tool, and you should uh, read more about it. Now, we also have to import for I.O. exceptions, so we do that, and that imports that library. This start sticky, you put that in an on start command when you want to explicitly end the service. The, if you don't put that in, the service will end when it's done doing whatever it's supposed to do. So, for example... Uh, uh, well, I, I don't want to give you an example, but uh, 
start sticky means that the service will continue until you explicitly end the service, which is what we want it to do. We want it to keep playing that music until we tell it to stop playing. Okay? So that takes care of the start. Now, whenever you start a service, you also have to tell the system what to do when the service ends because you want to do cleanup. So on destroy tells the service what to do. So what we're doing is we're saying on destroy, if the media player is there, meaning it's not null, and it's playing, we want to stop it. Then we want to release it. Release me media player dot release releases all memory that the media player holds and the media player is gone. So that's what we want to do when the service is done. So that takes care of some basic stuff. Uh, but what we need to do now is we need to say well, what happens once the media player is prepared uh, we obviously want to play it right so that's the next thing we want to do so within the unprepared block that method over here we want to say play media which is going to be our method that plays the actual audio clip. <clears throat> so play media looks like this. You're saying if the media player is not playing we want to start it. That's as simple as as can be. Then we also want to have a stop media method also because at some point we want to stop this from playing and one of the times that we want to stop it is on completion so on completion we want to say stop media and then we want to stop the service itself S to stop the service itself we say stop self and that will end the service okay And once the service is ended, on destroy is executed, and everything's cleaned up. So that pretty much takes care of everything we want to do. We want to create the media, create the service, start the service, play the media, end the media. But there's one thing we haven't done, and that is taking care of the uh, errors that might happen. So let's just do that. So that's on the on error listener over here. And I'm just going to replace this with what I have. Now what we're saying here is that if there's if the clip that we're playing is not valid for streaming, then we'll give a message. Or if the server's dead, we'll give another message. Or if we don't know something else, we don't know what it is, this is the message. We also we want to display that message with a toast, which is one of those pop-up little windows. So we had to import the toast. So there we are. We've done everything we need to do. And why don't we try look for errors here. Another th good thing to do when you're done is go to Source Format, and it just formats your source. Make sure everything is neatly formatted. Okay, well, let's run this, and we'll see what we get. There we have it. We play it. And it's going to play the music. And then we stop it, and it stops it. And there you go. Next tutorial, we're going to add to this by putting a notification in here. This, These are notifications, these little icons at the top. We're going to add a little notification up the top left here every time the service runs so that people are aware that a service is running and then when the service stops that icon goes away and that's what we'll be doing in tutorial three see you next time